paper towels down because it's leaking. Just doesn't look the best. I don't know, it's not focusing. Oh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So another another video I did not plan on making. However, this will help a few of you if you do run into this problem with the focus uh, or with your focus that is. Um, so as you can see down here, I've got some leaking. Big pile back there. So, the other day, I noticed that there was actually a pile coming from here. If you follow my Instagram, you'll saw a picture. There was like two lines running through this right here. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Because when I got back, that's when I noticed it. And all of this fluid was coming from, like, in the middle of the car, like, very like right here, but on the, in the middle. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. If this is coolant, it would be, should, should be up near the front, which is where that is, but I think it just all drained down. Um, so I got the car up on ramps, got under it, and yeah, it was like coming down off like the, here. So the coolant was coming down the back of that firewall right there and falling down and then going down and following the belly of the car. And I was like, okay, that's weird. And then I noticed something was up because a couple, like probably about a couple weeks ago when I did my oil change, coolant was low. So I just refilled it. I was like, okay, maybe evaporated, something happened, whatever. And then I followed it now because I checked it again and we're pretty darn low. But I followed the pipe, the tubing comes over here connects right here underneath and it goes back to the firewall which that is the problem right there the heater hose it's like connected to the heater core or something that, and that is leaking so luckily it is not a terribly expensive fix um so here's the parts Let's see, we got two hoses, and also I broke that connection piece right there that goes to the intake, and then also the connects to the motor. Um, but one of the hoses is $61. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Mm. So hose, one of the hoses, the shorter hose is $36. Another hose is 51 and then that stupid plastic piece i guess because there's like a connection thing here that is 61 dollars and 50 cents so all in all this repair it came out to be 161 dollars and 53 cents so it would have been cheaper it would have been less than a hundred dollars to just replace your heater hoses because they went bad My dad's gonna be leaving soon. So I also forgot to say a special thank you to the one of, to the one of you subscribers and Instagram followers that reached out and told me where to look because at first I was kind of stumped when I was up under the car and I do have it running now. So we'll get back into the video of how to fix it. But I just wanted to interrupt the video and say thank you to the one that just kind of guided me in the right direction. Much love, appreciate it. All right, so I don't know why it took me so long. I should've just broke it to begin with. Um, but you can see right there on the either side. So right here, there's like that plastic lip right there. And that's what connects around this metal right here. That's what holds it in along with the other side over there. And so you have to like pinch these, which they suck. And even when you pinch it, it doesn't really bend out that well so i had to break it and i accidentally broke this one when i was originally figuring out the problem so that's why i have to replace it anyway but if you have to replace this or not replace it but if you have to take these off good luck they suck that being said i've also noticed oil now is collecting so i don't know if anyone could tell me what's going on here like what's connecting from this right here that connects into your air intake because yeah that just doesn't look the best i don't know why it's not focusing there so yeah 
Um, that being said, it's pretty easy to get to. I'm not sure how it's gonna be getting these tubes off because it's right back there. It looks like there's like the that gray um, piece that locks it in place. So I gotta undo that. Follow it over here. And there's tubes back here that I have to do. So bear with me. All right, so you'll just twist that gray piece kind of like kind of sucks having to hopefully you guys can see this kind of like so twist it and then you give a good old pull and in doing so it should pull off and it's going to leak a little bit but it is what it is so there's one down this one will go there because then as we route it and see, it goes right there on the other side of that bolt. All right, so we got one hose out and had to move quite a few things. Undid this, undid this thing right here. Um, put some paper towels down because it's leaking draining all out and now it's going to get the other one out because this thing also this holder sucks i think it locks in from the bottom so that way you know how to do it i was trying to pry it from the top so yeah just get a screwdriver in there and pry it that way all right so i got everything put back together the cold air intake system the hoses are put back if you can see them right back there um, everything's connected, ready to go, tightened up. I don't have one of those like little burp things that people put on their coolant to that way, like they overflow to let the air bo pop out. So I was thinking about maybe like putting, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just going to put a paper towel over top or something. That way, if it would splash, it splashes in onto the paper towel. It's still going to soak it. I mean, just look at all the stuff that leaked. And there's a paper towel there. Those are soaked over there. So we'll see if that works. But very simple, pretty easy fix. Only took me, let's see, what time is it? Ugh, man. 12.44 started just before 11. So, eh, about two hours almost. Shouldn't have taken that long. I already had everything dismantled, but the tube connection was giving me the most struggle. It wasn't wanting to reconnect. So maybe it actually didn't go bad and all I needed to do was reconnect it better. It might have like wiggled out of place. Because that'll suck if it still is leaking and that wasn't the fix. So let's see. I'll turn it on, let it run. That is the end of this video. Once you have everything back together, just refill your coolant. Uh, try and get all that air out that just went into your system. Um, so if you do like this, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. We're almost at a thousand. Let's keep it up. I was hoping we get to a thousand by the end of this year. We're not that far, but I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas also. See you in the next one.